Because you can't see how you're going to come out of what you're in. You, you can't see where to go from here. He said, but don't worry, what the night is going to bring, it will be all over. Somebody know what I'm talking about. And, and then David comes along and he says, weeping may endure for a night, but short come in the morning, is Somebody got up this morning with a mind steady on Jesus. Somebody got up this morning appreciating God just for she is. Somebody put your clothes on. Somebody did all by themselves by the power of God. Somebody ought to say joy in this house. It cometh in the morning. But sometimes we don't understand just how long a night of trial and test is going to be. Because some of us chronologically look at our watches and we say, God, I should be out of this by now. Why am I still going through the same sequence of events? I would tell you that God has a purpose and a reason for everything that he does and everything that he allows. And all the time we find ourselves arrested and even incarcerated by anxiety. Even the best of us, I'm talking about you Bible tolers and scripture tolers, you prayer warriors, even the best of us, those who, of us who are close to them, have often found, found ourselves tackled and handcuffed by anxiety. We have worried about people, we have worried about things, we have worried about situations, and they have driven us to the point where we were stripped of our joy, stripped of our peace of mind. Somebody couldn't sleep at all last night. Got to take a pill to get up. Got to take a pill to function. Got to take a pill to lay down at night because anxiety is a rock. It will rob you of the peace of mind that God gives. And if you are not careful, we are the best of us. We'll find ourselves dealing with anxiety. Yeah, we worry. When we worry, we magnify our issue. Now come to tell you, when we magnify the issue, we can never give God the glory that He deserves. God, God gets no glory out of our pity party. I'm sorry, a lot of us go about complaining about everything that's going on. Oh, as you look, some of the people you talk to really care. Sometimes they are enjoying the fact that you're going through something you don't know what I'm saying. So you don't need to worry people about those kind of issues. Somebody needs to take it to the Lord and leave it there. Now, if you want to give God glory, learn how to praise Him in whatever state you're in. We, we have to learn how to give him thanks for what is already done, but we have to praise him for who he is. I, I, I hear you, I hear you, David, David is saying, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mind. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. Listen, this is why you ought to shut down the pity part of the Lord. There are some other folks who need to know that God can see them through. All of these saints in here ought to be those who testify that God can bring you out because if he can bring out of nobody like me, God can deliver anybody that he chooses to deliver. So you act like you don't want to be delivered. I happen to know that, that when you give God praise and thanks, it builds up a battle. It sets up a barricade that anxiety cannot go through because your mind has now been overcame.